Hi guys, welcome back to the tutorial. Um, so in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to use Typhlow Spine Tool to create a street network and sending agents out based on that street network. Um, so to start with, we will need to have the Typhlow icon ready, um, which can be found in our create panel. And just simply click um, on your viewport and adjust it to zero 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 so that is in the center of the grid and then we can just simply open the editor the typhoon editor and then we can drag our birth command operator um, into the box and then from this we can then type um, tap on your keyboard and type in position icon and then we can just simply t um, click create new and under your modify panel um, select boxes instead of a rectangular shape and drag your time frame to see the changes um, in your viewport and once you see that we can just simply type in spline path and then we can just simply click on create new again and under spine plot, um, click forces so that it stays in the boxes. And then we can type speed to slow the spine down a bit and then drag it under spine path. And under magnitude, select inherit previous. And for direction, we will be choosing this rotate. And we can drag our time frame again to see the differences. And we want to limit, kind of limit um, the spline down a bit. So type in limit fur and under velocity, um, you can play around with x, y, and z axis. And for me, I'll be um, just choosing um, x, x and z axis so the y will remain in zero and once that is done you will see the spine is coming out more smoothly and from this um, under speed under timing we can then just select continuous and then once that is done, we can then have a linear effect that is um that looks like a street network. And then from this, um, we can then send our agent out based on the street network, and we can just minimize um our flow uh typhoon editor. And what we need to do now is create a sphere um, as a center point that you wish to send your agents out and then just move it to the center of the grid again and then add another typhoon icon in your viewport and then we can then go to editor again and drag in our birth operator and under our birth operator, type in position object and then pick on the object we just um, did just now. Um, and then we can then see the little dots is coming up on the sphere surfaces. And we can choose the shape that we want by simply just type in shape and drag it down under the positional object so that we can change the shape of our agent. Um, so for this tutorial, I'll be using Sapphire in Resluce and then changing the scale to make it bigger. 
Oh, and under display, we need to change it to geometry. So that is actually showing as the geometry that was selected just now. And once that is done, we will just need to um, let the agent follow the spine that we just did. And then we can just simply type in path follow. And under path follow, pick the um, type flow spine. And then we can then see the agent is spreading out um, following the spine. But it's too a little bit fast, so we just need another um operator. We can just simply type in the speed command, the speed operator. And then we can just simply slow um the agency down. And then we can now have our street network that is um, sending our agency out based on our street, the model street network.